and welcome to this live broadcast. Let's begin with the latest from Kabul, where a delegation of senior Pakistani military officials has arrived in the country. The delegation is headed by Pakistan's Intelligence Chief General Faiz Hamid, Pakistan's spy chief becoming the highest ranking foreign official to visit Taliban-led Afghanistan. It's significant considering the Taliban is close to forming a new government in Afghanistan. Not to forget, Pakistan and its intelligence agency have been accused of supporting the Taliban in taking over Afghanistan. And now Hamid is visiting Afghanistan at the invitation of the Taliban to discuss the future of the two countries. He has even said that Pakistan's ambassador to Afghanistan will hold talks with the Taliban, but he is only working for peace and stability in the country. And to discuss issues relating to immediate future of security and economic trade ties between Afghanistan and Pakistan, Yon is closely tracking all the crucial developments and we will definitely tell you all the very latest. Now, after coming under fire for leading the colossal damage in Afghanistan, the U.S. has started to respond to pressure from families of the 3,000 killed by al-Qaeda on September 11, 2001. As a result, U.S. President has ordered the release of confidential documents related to the attack. The declassification of documents is important as it might contain evidence that the government of Saudi Arabia had links to the hijackers who flew into the World Trade Center and Pentagon. Families of the victims have been calling for the release of the documents which have been kept off limits for long now. The frustration has led to many filing a suit against Saudi Arabia. Suspicion continues around the documents even after the official 9-11 commission confirmed that there is no evidence on Saudi government, government officials individually funding al-Qaeda. Experts, however, suspect the involvement of lower-ranking Saudi officials. Some of the investigation may, be, may still be deemed too sensitive to release. The move has been made by Biden as an attempt to what he termed as maximizing transparency by the U.S. government. The U.S. seems to have stepped up efforts just ahead of the 20th anniversary of the attack. Remember, the 9-11 attack was responsible for then-President George W. Bush ordering an invasion of Afghanistan, where Taliban sheltered al-Qaeda's leadership. Well, going back to our top story this hour, where a delegation of senior Pakistani military officials has arrived. The delegation is headed by Pakistan's intelligence chief, General Faiz Hamid, Pakistan's spy chief, becoming the highest ranking foreign official to visit Taliban led, led Afghanistan. Let's get more details on this with our correspondent in Kabul, Afghanistan, Anis Malik, who is joining us uh, for more details on this. Anis, thank you very much for joining us at this hour. What is the latest on this development? Well, a delegation of senior Pakistani officials uh, led by the Pakistani uh, uh, army, uh, the, the ISI, the spy chief, uh, Lieutenant General Faiz Hamid, has arrived in Kabul just a while back. They've arrived upon the invite of the Afghan Taliban uh, and uh, where they will be discussing a, a immediate issues pertaining to uh, uh, the security and economy and uh, uh, with regards to the Pakistani Taliban's uh, resurgence within the region, uh, particularly uh, the increase in terror incidents in Pakistan. Uh, upon arrival at the hotel, uh, the DGISI Lieutenant General Sayed Hamid, while interacting with the uh, media in an off-the-cuff interaction, he said that uh, uh, when he was asked that why is he here, he said that I'm here to meet the ambassador of Pakistan and whatever meetings that I will be having here in Kabul, uh, he will be, it will be arranged uh, by the ambassador. Uh, he he's also said that uh, Pakistan has worked for peace uh, and stability in Afghanistan and will continue to do so in the future as well. Uh, now, upon us, uh, he's, uh, he's, uh, towards the end, he, uh, he just said that uh, there is uh, nothing per se to worry about as such. Uh, this is what the Pakistani ambassador, uh, this is what the Pakistani uh, 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 DJI, Lieutenant General Affairs, I mean, in an interaction 
uh, with uh, the uh, with uh, uh, the media upon arrival has said uh, uh, it is a it is a day long visit as as what we've been told as what we have learned that it is a day long visit uh, and he is accompanied by senior military officials as well he will be holding key meetings with the Taliban he will be also he is also likely to hold meetings with uh, the Qatari special envoy uh, to Afghanistan uh, Mr Qatani uh, it's a day long visit as what we have learned Eric. Apart from this uh, day-long meeting, uh, what uh, role does uh, Pakistan want to play, especially with regards to a government formation in a Taliban-ruled Afghanistan? At this point of time, it would be too early to speculate what role Pakistan has to play, but because Pakistan has been an important uh, uh, member of, uh, 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 an important neighbor of Afghanistan over the years, uh, as we understand. Uh, and uh, that is the reason uh, this visit is deemed very, very important because the, the, uh, the uh, Pakistan does not have the luxury per se to wait and watch. The reason, uh, the reason uh, the, this uh, interaction is very necessary. The uh, uh, GDI Assistant General Affairs Hamid uh, becomes the second uh, 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 official, uh, high-ranking official to arrive in the country, uh, in Afghanistan, following the U.S. withdrawal. Earlier yesterday, we saw, we saw the arrival of Mr. Qatani, uh, the Qatari special envoy as well. Uh, and uh, toward, well, by the looks of it, it looks like that uh, uh, they would not, uh, these meetings would rather be focused on regional stability, security, and economic conditions. Primarily because of the because of the uh, uh, because of the problems that Afghanistan has been facing since the U.S. withdrawal has taken Eric. Anas Malik. On the line, live from Kabul, Afghanistan, thank you very much for talking to us.